Hey guys, Cybercon11 here, and welcome to episode 7 of Wizard 101. I actually haven't played in a while, but I know that, uh, my magic broom is up. The time on the enchanted broom, one day, has run out. And has been removed from your equipment or inventory. Which, you yeah, survived? I'm I mean, that was fast. Those undead are not as tough as they seem, are they? So what did you learn? Thanks for interrupting me. And I was just about to say, I had no idea what I did in the last episode, but if you guys want more, make sure to leave a comment or like down below. What? The undead were using storm magic? That doesn't make any sense. Where could they have learned that? Hmm. Maybe you could ask Susie what she might know about this, and tell her I'm still trying to find out what happened to her brother. The funny thing was, I didn't even click or push the X button. Well, it's going to be a bit of a bummer. Having to wear out these ruby slippers of mine. Which it does feel... Oh wait, I'm going the wrong way. Which it does feel weird going back to this game after two weeks. And I think it's been longer because all the six episodes were pre-recorded. What? Duncan needs my help? Wow, that's a first. Duncan is right. You don't normally find the undead using storm magic. Level up. Someone must have put them up to this. But who? I don't know. Who is it? I have seen them wearing some kind of strange medallion. Battle some rotting fodders and collect these, then take them to Duncan. Maybe he will know why the undead have them. Fodder? I thought they were called rotting father. Oh yeah, I forgot I got a little pop-up. Come to me. I am just outside the dual arena on Unicorn Way. You know what? Let's leave an X here because I wonder if this is about the dueling thing. Which you guys don't know what the X thing is. It's mainly just using mana to place an X to teleport there. So I could go back to there quickly and not have to waste five minutes of the episode wasted just to walk there. Which you gotta admit, that was a smart idea. Which I wonder if this is the actual, like, dueling lesson. Aha! Hello there, my friend! Headmaster Ambrose has asked me to show you more of the art of dueling, no? Most excellent. This will take but a few minutes. Enter the door to the arena to begin. So what level am I anyway? Six? Yeah, I'm six. Which I thought this was level ten when I was Welcome, doing it. Welcome, my friend, to the dueling arena. You wish to learn more of the art of dueling, no? Yes, I would like to learn more. Outstanding. Approach the puppet, and we shall begin your lesson. Okay. I shall. Let us begin by explaining power points. You may call them pips for short. Power points are magical energy. Gaining pips allows you to cast more powerful spells. Every round, you will receive another pip. You can see the number of pips each participant has by looking at the circle around their feet. Nearly every card has a pip cost. It is the number in the upper left-hand corner, yes? You can only cast a spell if you have enough pips to do so. Let us start with one spell with a pip cost of two. But you only have one pip, so you cannot cast this turn. You will have to pass. You I'm can also use a zero rank spell if you want to save up power pips. Good! You have passed and gained another pip. With two pips, you can now cast a troll spell. Ah, but look! You have drawn another card. Tough. This is an enchantment card. What I'm trying to say is before I push space, then I'm going to try to collect as many di as much dialogue from this as I can. So if any of you guys are new to the game, you can understand how this works. Enchantment cards can be used to improve the other cards in your hand. Let me show you. Click on the tough card. And now click on the troll. Look what has happened. The card has been enchanted to do more damage. Now it is a treasure card. Unused treasure cards go back into your deck at the end of the duel. Now since you have two pips, you can cast the troll at the puppet. Oh, puppet getting trolled. Get trolled. Now you are back to one pip, yes? Let us give you another hand. With only one pip, you cannot cast any of these third rank spells. You will need. But wait! There's oh, another way. Let me show you. 
I'm sorry about that. He was saying that I needed to wait for three pips. Like, so meaning by passing twice. So here's what he's going to try to tell me. I've given you a power pip. See? At the beginning of each round, you will have a chance to get a power pip instead of a normal pip. Power pips count double, but only for spells in your class. Now you have one pip and one power pip. That means you can cast any second rank spell that you wish. Or you can use a third rank spell in your school of focus. One point for the pip, plus two points for the power pip. See? The card for your school is now available to you. Cast it at the puppet now. <laughs> Outstanding! Now let us look at another type of spell card. A ward can be used to protect you against future attacks. This is a fire ward. When you cast it on someone, it will hang in front of them waiting to be activated. The next incoming fire spell will trigger it. Let me show you. Cast this fire ward upon yourself. Very good. See how this fire ward hangs near your feet? Watch how it can protect you. Do you see? The fire ward has activated and helps you resist most of the damage from this attack. Let's try one more hanging spell. This one is called Ice Blade. Cast it on yourself and see what happens. Charms are the opposite of wards. Wards affect spells that other people cast on you. Charms affect spells that you cast on other people. Cast this frost beetle at the puppet. Let's see how the charm works. Do you see? Your ice beetle has triggered the ice charm. Now the ice beetle is more powerful. Now let us cover one more type of hanging effect. The Aura Spells. Aura Spells affect the target over multiple rounds of combat. For example, the Fire Elf Spell will cause 240 points of fire damage spread over three rounds. Let's see how it works. Cast a Fire Elf at the Puppet. Watch what happens next round. And again. Excellent! You have defeated him and completed your lesson. I hope you have found our lesson to be most helpful. Good luck, my friend, and see you soon. All right, so wait, is this gonna automatically teleport me out? And yes, it will. And I think I also get a trading point for that too. No, I don't get a training point. I thought I did. Oh well. Okay, so let's head back to Triton Avenue, shall we? Okay, so, whoa, that is a awesome mound there. And I gotta go this way, what am I doing? Uh, I can't wait to get my pet. Oh, and the lag. Okay. Alright. I wonder if there's a hidden treasure right here. No, there is not. I'm not gonna worry about that guy. Oh yeah, and I forgot about the fishing thing. Ugh. I think I'm still too weak for that. But we gotta deal about the rotting fodder. It sounds like a little kid trying to struggle to say father. Like, fodder, fodder. Let's see, what's... Can I do a one-hit kill? No, I cannot. I'll try to save up for a one-hit kill. And 
let's go snake. One down, three to go. I'm not sure if you heard that, but my arm just made a cracking sound. And coming in from behind. Let's see. Ooh, there, there's a chance of this one being a one-hit kill. And to think, sometime soon I'll be too strong for that wand. But I just want to keep it on me because it could really be handy if I case if in case if I run out of spells. Are you kidding me? One life point. Uh, uh throw in a nice beetle. I don't care. Any anything will do. There we go. Okay, so two down, two to go. And we shot a... Wait. Oh, I feel like doing, doing that thing from the dueling lesson there. Let's throw in my fire, elf. Come on. Or just ignore me. What, whatever goes, it'll work. Okay, uh, let's try that again. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Wait, did I damage him earlier? Because I don't recall that. Ooh, okay, what did I get? Okay, I got the ghoul treasure card, which I actually feel like using that. Uh, oh, I don't even have these equipped? Oh, I have two of them. Actually, wait, I want to take out these, because I want to show you guys the ghoul card, because that's actually something really cool. Which, in some ways, I kind of wish I was a death wizard, because I could go for spells like that. I could have been a death. Oh, wow. Okay, we're gonna pass. Which I think it actually has enough power to kill him. And I kind of feel like that dueling Diego pretty much should have uh, told us about a spell like this. He should have taught us that. Alright. We have one more to go. Let's go to you. Until I'm not a ghost. Okay, there we go. Let's throw in that fire cat. Come on, fire kitty. And we'll throw in another fire kitty. The funny thing is I'm not a cat person, and I'm using cats to attack. Alright, got everything I need, now I gotta go. I know I already have enough health. I actually want to see, like, I know keeping myself on the sidewalk will prevent me from getting to a battle, but I want to see, like, would I, would I be captured from just walking in the road right now? I guess the answer is no. Hey, look, fish, let's go scare them. Uh, run away. Run away. And I'll worry about you next after this quest. You collected these from the rotting fodders? Great! This will help me out! Where could the undead have gotten storm medallion? In order for me to investigate these medallions, I will need some Lumina crystals. They store storm magic and will be affected by the medallion. 
To get some Lumina crystals, you will need to go see Vlad Raveneye, the miller by the falls. He runs the storm mill that produces the Lumina crystals. Wow, and I think I was going to go to him anyway. Thank you for also giving me a reason to go up there. Actually, a second reason. What? Did I just see something over there? Oh no, that's just a Triton statue. Alright, so... You are here investigating these events with all the undead? Ooh ha! It's about time something was done about them. They're scaring all the citizens away. You need some Lumina crystals for your investigation? Why, I'd give you some. But my entire inventory was taken by the undead. If you can get over to the street and take back my barrels, I will gladly share them with you. All right, and let's get it, accept his other quest. I sure am glad to see a fresh face. I've got a lot to do here, and it doesn't look like it's going to be easy. The undead have brought along crows that are spoiling our crops. We need to build some scarecrows to scare those crows away. First thing we'll need is some cloth to make the scarecrow's bodies. The cloth can be collected off the Scarlet Screamers. Can you get some cloth for us? First, let's take care of the barrels. And then we'll worry about the screamers. And then we'll try to come in after that. So like we'll do we'll do both of them. Then we'll go to him. Not just do one go to him and then another go to him. Just get the two over with. Okay. One barrel down, two to go. Two barrels down, one to go. Three ba barrels down, Scarlet Screamer ahead. I have no idea how much we're supposed to take, but I know we can't do a one hit kill. That's why this will be more powerful. I'd really be disappointed if someone happened to join up on the battle, because I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be strong enough to take care of two at once. And you know what? The Dueling Diego guys should have also gone over boost effects. Now that I mention it, he might call back for me to go, go over again, so there is a chance he might go over the stuff I'm doing right now. Come on, kitty! Thank you, kitty! All right. We are kind of running low on some mana. So what we are going to do is, I'm going to leave an X here. I am going to go down to the commons. And then after that, in the next episode, we'll finish up that quest and we'll do more quests. And that is one awesome dragon over there. But yep, yeah, that is pretty much all it for this episode. I hope you guys have been enjoying the series. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe today. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram and to be updated for every time I upload a another video such as this one or Minecraft or other things I like to do. But until then, I'll see you next time. Peace.